All right, so Romeo Cornell, Nick Saban won. Rowan, congratulations, Jimmy gave out 53 game balls. You all get him, he said. Man, Chad Johnson and the Bengals in the face of the newly led Romeo Cornell, Cleveland Brown. Chad Johnson had some fun with the Cleveland DBs last year with the Pepto-Bismol. They lost the game there. How about this? Trent Dilfer off the umpire Jim Quirk's head. It's a quirky play. Kosey Coleman, the lineman, catches it. Dilfer, Braylon Edwards. We expect mm -hmm. big things from him. Mm -hmm. His first catch is a brown eight yards. Dilfer to Tom's fifth cousin, <laughs> Frisman Jackson from Western Illinois. He could frisk all the way. 68 yards, 10-10 tie. Dilfer Syke has a starter again. William Green here. Yeah, take a look at the replay. William Green going to come back right here and throw a nice block. The spring Frisman Jackson down the sideline for the score. And so, yeah, you got to have everybody involved in the play. Well, the Bengals say we have some offense. Carson Palmer to TJ. You say Hushmanzada. I say Hushmanzada. It's a 35-yard pickup. Then Palmer to Kevin Walter. How about that throw for 15 yards? Then, last minute of the first half, this is where the team's going somewhere, makes some mince meat, you know. Palmer, Walter, and that's a 20 yard touch. That's such a backbreaker of a tie game. All of a sudden, you're going to lock him up 17 to 10. Congratulations to him. And then the Bengals put it away in the second half 27 13. Marvin Lewis's team has gone 1 and 4 to open the last two seasons. It's his third year as head coach. It's his first opening day. And, and it's the most important thing for the Bengals. Forget the numbers. They need to get off to a good, solid start. They ended the last two seasons 8 and 8 after starting the seasons, as you said, 1 and 4. And Rudy Johnson didn't get the start because he missed the team meeting, but he got in there quickly. He ran for 100 yards. The Bengals beat their cross-state rivals.